Hey guys, Nick from KN Tech here. Uh, I'm gonna make a video today just to show you how you can put a small screen inside your case that's gonna monitor your PC's vital statistics. So things like CPU temperature, GPU temperature, and the load they're under. It's gonna be a short video, so follow along guys, and I'll show you how it's done. So this is a simple video, and basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this small five inch screen, and this is a touch screen, so you can use it for touch if you want to, but I won't be utilizing the touch element of this screen. And I'm gonna put it inside my case so that it's gonna be able to monitor the stats of my machine. So the software I'm gonna be using is NZXT Cam, and it's system monitoring software. I'm not gonna be using the latest version because that doesn't have all the features that I want. I'm gonna be using a version of this software that's about two or three versions old because it has a nice cleaner interface and it's much more customizable with the system that I'm gonna be putting it into, i.e. my system over there. Now the thing to remember is that when you get this screen, it's a basic bare bones screen. So that means there's no packaging on it, there's no backing plates on it or anything like that. So if you wanna make it look a little bit tidier in your machine, you may have to do a little bit of tidying up. And you'll see me do that a little bit later on where I put a little bit of tape around the edges just to make it look a little bit neater when I put it into the actual machine itself. So you'll see on the side, it's got a standard HDMI connector and a USB and a micro USB connector. If you were gonna be using the touchscreen, you would need to power it with the micro USB but as I'm only gonna be using it as a screen, I'm only gonna be using the HDMI connector. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna take the side panel out and we're gonna see whereabouts we're actually going to mount this. So this is the screen that I actually bought. It's actually made for a Raspberry Pi, hence the fact it's got a touch screen on it. So what I'm gonna do is just whip it out and show you what it looks like. So the plan is to have this mounted on the side of the power supply shroud down here which means it's gonna be visible when we put the glass panel back on. Now I've gone ahead and ordered a, a flat, a ribbon style uh, HDMI cable, and I'm hoping that I'm gonna be able to route that behind the power supply shroud, and it's gonna to have to go out through, the, out through the chassis at the back of my machine and plug into a port on my graphics card. So let's go ahead and see if we can get this fitted in. So here's the ribbon cable plugged into the GPU, plugged into the HDMI port of the GPU, and I've actually managed to route it in between two of the expansion slot blanking plates here, which is why the reason I got the flat ribbon cable, because I wanted it to be able to go in between these here. And what I've managed to do is I've managed to route that underneath the GPU shroud, and that comes out here at the front of the case, and it just so happens there's a perfect sized little hole here for me to pass that back through. So I can pass that back through, which means that's then gonna come out in front of the GPU shroud, which is kind of exactly where I wanna place the uh, monitor at the moment. Okay, so right before I actually put this back in the case, I'm just gonna tidy up some of these edges a little bit because I don't like the fact that you can see the PCB in the edge of the screen. So I'm just gonna use some electrical tape to cover that up and just make it look a bit more presentable. Okay, so that's what it looks like after I've put the tape on it. You can see it looks a whole lot cleaner. So all we have now left to do is to put the monitor in, cable it up, put the sides back on my, P on my PC and we'll see how it looks. So there we go, that's powered up and you can see this just becomes another monitor. Now I've got this set up in an arrangement so that it sits next to my three monitors. And this is the software that I'm actually going to use. This is the NZXT CAM software, but it's a previous version. And I recommend using this because the interface is a lot cleaner. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drag this over. So there we have it guys, that's how I went about it. That's how I put a small screen inside my case, just so I can have a little stats display panel on the inside so I can keep an eye on my temperatures and my GPU and CPU usage. I'm gonna put a link in the description down below for the screen that I used, and I also put a link in the description for the small HDMI cable I used. It's a one meter cable and it's a flat one which makes it a lot easier to route through the back of your case. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video, sound off in the comments below, and hit the subscribe button and the bell notification to be notified when I put new videos up. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you on the next one.